Hello everyone. Welcome to my tutorial Angular Bot with AWS Lex service. My name is Amardeep Singh. I'm working as a lead solution architect for a leading financial institute. I have 14 years of experience in developing and designing software software. I'm TOGAF certified enterprise architect. I'm AWS certified solution architect at professional level. I hold AWS Security Specialist Certification and I'm AWS Certified Machine Learning Specialist. I'm Jenkins Certified Engineer and I'm a huge fan of continuous integration and continuous. If you are interested in connecting with me, you can follow me on LinkedIn or Twitter. In this tutorial, I will explain about Amazon Lag service and how you can use it to develop automated bots for your application. In this tutorial, we will integrate our Angular applications to AWS Lag service and build a conversational automated bot to collect user information and create a hotel reservation for the user. In order to get the most out of this tutorial, we expect you to have a basic understanding of web application development. You should have your Node.js environment up and running and know how to run Node.js applications. I will use the Angular framework for front-end development. So having a basic understanding of Angular will help you. In our project, we are using Angular version 10. I'm using Visual Studio Code as ID for easy development and TypeScript syntax highlighting. To follow this tutorial quote and code, you need to have a valid AWS user and access to AWS console. We will be using AWS Amplify Utility CLI to connect our front end to the AWS backend and provision the required resources. So let's get started. Let's first start learning what is Amazon Lex. Amazon Lex is an artificial intelligence service provided by AWS. AWS Lex enables developers to create applications with text, voice-based conversation that can be seamlessly integrated with Amazon Alexa or other AWS services for implementing automated workflows. AWS Lex uses deep learning and natural language processing to create conversational applications. Amazon Lex uses automated speech recognition to convert from voice to text, then uses natural language processing to understand the intent of the speech to create engaging applications. Using Amazon Lex, you can create anything from a simple website support chatbot to a complex contact center application or an automated booking system. Now we know what is Amazon Lex. So let's try to understand why we should use Amazon Lex. First thing, Amazon Lex is easy to understand and provide easy access to create applications. Amazon Lex made complex deep learning algorithms available to the developer by just using their service to achieve business goals. Amazon Lex makes it very easy to develop, test, and deploy chatbots using the console. Amazon Lex chatbots are serverless and can scale massively without the need of overhead. Amazon Lex chatbots are very cost effective and don't require any upfront costs for deployment. And you can pay as you go. It provides built in integration with other AWS services like AWS Lambda, Cognito, CloudWatch, and other AWS services. Easy integration with external messaging platform and web applications like Facebook and Slack. Before developing the Lex chatbot, we need to understand a few concepts related to Lex, like intent, utterances, slots, confirmation, and fulfillment. Let's first understand intent. An intent represents an action that the user wants to take. You use one or more related intent to create a bot. For example, you want to create a bot to capture customer details and create a hotel reservation for the customer. So booking a hotel is an intent here. You can combine more than one intent to create work. Utterances. 
Utterances are the typed or spoken phrases that invoke an intent. You specify one or more utterances so that your intent can be invoked. For example, reserve a room, book a trip. These are examples of utterances. Slots. The slot is the data that your user must provide to fulfill an intent. A slot requires you to supply a prompt message, slot type and a variable value where you want to store the user supplied. You can specify more than one slot to collect all the data points. For example, what is your name? Here you are asking the user to input his or her name and storing that in the name variable and specifying a data type to store that value. Confirmation prompt. A confirmation prompt specify a message playing back to user to confirm the data that is collected in slots. The user can provide confirmation of their intent or they can cancel it in the confirmation prompt. Example, are you sure to create a reservation? This is an example of a confirmation. Fulfillment. Amazon Lex service uses AWS Lambda to fulfill user's intent. The fulfillment section specifies the AWS Lambda code to be executed to actually perform the business logic required to complete the user's intent. It can be as simple as printing back the user input data or as sophisticated as calling a remote service to create reservation, store data in DynamoDB, and triggering an email confirmation to the user. Response. The response section specifies the closure of the intent. Here you can respond with a message or you can invoke another intent. This section specifies the exit point for an intent. Clarification prompt. In the error handling section, you can specify a clarification prompt where the bot can ask the users a clarification question. If the user's response or question isn't matching the expected behavior by the bot. For example, a user asks your bot, let's go somewhere, but your bot doesn't understand and you don't have that in your utterances. So your bot can respond to the user asking him a clarification question. Channels. Amazon Lex easily integrate with some of the popular messaging channels like Facebook Messenger, Kick, Slack, and Twilio SMS. In the channel section, you can specify different settings to enable your chatbot on these platforms. In this tutorial, we are going to integrate Lex with an Angular web application. Let's talk about development tools that we are going to use in this tutorial. We will be utilizing a terminal window for configuring our project. Then we will use VSS code as ID to navigate through our code. We will use AWS Amplify to configure connectivity with the AWS environment and our application. AWS Amplify will also procure the required resources for us. We will be using the AWS console to look through some settings for our deployed bot. Now, let's talk about the functionality of the application which we are using or we are developing. In this application, I will create a web page with the read-only text area to display the conversation between our customer and a bot. Then there will be a text input where the customer will add their question to the bot. Once the customer clicks the send button, user input will be sent to the Amazon Lags to get a response back. Basically, we are creating a chatbot that will guide a user through the process to create a hotel reservation. Our bot will take the details from the user about what city and date they are trying to go for a trip and then we will create the reservation, a dummy one definitely, and inform the user. Now you have understood about the Amazon Lex service, what are the advantages of using Amazon Lex service and different concepts related to the Amazon Lex service. So this is the time to apply that knowledge. I will see you in the next tutorial where I will be developing the actual chatbot and will be deploying it to the AWS environment and we will be going through code line by line. See you in the next tutorial. Please don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Thank you.